Uh, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitzer Tell, and this is Tell Vlog 20, I think. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's already April, and we're up to, already up to Tell Vlog 20. I started this series, um, was it late January, or, I mean, when did I start? Early January at the start of this year, I think. Or was it last year? The end of last year? I forgot. But we're up to Tell Vlog 20. It's due for another video. Um, a lot has happened recently. But I've been too lazy to make a video about it. Solely due to lack of motivation. And I, I'm not saying that I'm thinking about giving up to YouTube. I'm, I'm not giving... I'm not thinking about giving up YouTube. I'm... I, I, I want to feel motivated to make videos. It's just that it's hard for me to have motivation to do anything really anymore. But whatevs. I'll get over it soon. Um, but yeah, a lot has happened. Like, um... Yesterday, I, um, I, I went to Burger King with my mom and we got some stuff there. Um, initially I was going to have, like, what's it called? The, um, Hawaiian BK chicken because that was the one that I usually get. Well, usually, usually, is it, am I allowed to say usually for that? Because, like, I've only been to Burger King, like, a couple of times, you know? And so usually I do get the Hawaiian BK chicken when I go to Burger King. But the night prior to yesterday, two days ago, I was looking at the nutrition information and holy damn, you know how many calories there are and like all of this stuff there. Um, and also it's pretty expensive as well. So instead I opted for going with a hamburger. My mom told me that I shouldn't get a hamburger because she had it. Uh, BK hamburger once and she said that it was absolutely disgusting but I just got it because I mean come on um it just yeah it was it was like just it was cheap it was like four dollars that was actually cheaper than the drinks that we got as well we got no sugar coke I got all of the flavors for no sugar coke because like there's a little machine and you put your cup in and it's so cool because like I've never really used one of those things before um but I, like, it had all of these different options, and I pressed it, and then, because, like, I thought it would just be normal Coke, but no, there were, like, a bunch of other ones, like, passion fruit, and mango, and cherries, and raspberry, and I was just like, oh my god, this is so cool, so I just put an all of them in. It tasted delicious. And also, they had this, um, Sunday thing, this limited edition Sunday. it was only, like, $5.50, I think, um, and it, it had, like, marshmallows, and this blue stuff on it, and it was supposed to be, like, bubblegum flavored. I really wanted to get it, but I didn't, because I thought, I figured I didn't need it, which I, I didn't really, but I was thinking about it all night. What else is, we, we went thrifting afterwards. I didn't find anything cool, though, which made me feel sad, but that's, that's all right. Um, we're gonna go thrifting next week again um and do the similar thing except we're gonna get pizza and go to a different thrift store in hopes of me finding something cooler at the thrift store my brother's coming home tomorrow and i'm really looking forward to that um uh hopefully we can do some baking together because that's really fun oh yeah that's right another cool thing that happened today um today i woke up and I made that vanilla protein shake for breakfast. That was really nice. I really like that. And then at 9am, the highlight of my day today, it was um, Nick Nocturno. He was like, he made this live stream, right? And it was with Andy Virasak. Um, I, I love both of them. So like watching the live stream, it was totally epic. Um. Andy shared some information on the new EP coming out, um, April 26th, and I'm, like, totally looking forward to it. It has three songs on there, um, of course, the new single, Bleeders, and they're also doing, um, Sunday, Bloody Sunday, and My Friends, which is really cool, and it's Sweeney Todd themed as well. I love Sweeney Todd, it's one of my favourite musicals. Um, I've only watched a couple of musicals. And Sweeney Todd has been my favorite. Um, a close second would be the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, and I also liked Cats. 
the musical. I remember when I went to see Cats when it first came out. Um, I went with my grandparents and my mom. Um, I was the only kid in the cinema. Everyone else was an adult older. And by everyone else, I mean my, my mom was the only adult. Um, and everyone else, well, adult, no, everyone else was elders. I was the only child. And my mom was the only, like, actual non-elderly adult. Um, and it was good. I completely forgot what that movie was about. And I don't remember any of the songs on there. But I remembered that I enjoyed that movie. Um, and, and really, that's how I view all movies. Do I remember the plot of any movies? No. Well, I mean, I, I do remember the plot to Sweeney Todd and all of the Fly movies. And a couple of other movies, probably. But other than that, it's just, do I remember if I liked the movie or did I not like the movie? And that's just how I go about films. Oh yeah, guys, tomorrow I'm going to be having jam on toast for breakfast. I'm, like, totally excited for that. Um, comment down below, um, what gives you the motivation to wake up every day? I need ideas. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all my updates. Bye, guys.